This is Mike from GoCellPhoneRepair.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Cellebrite UME36 Pro. This is a data transfer machine that we use for older phones because thanks to newer technology like uh, iCloud, Gmail, uh, Windows Zoom, and so forth, you can actually back up a lot of more uh, common phones or late model phones without the use of any third party anything pretty much. However, when it comes to older phones, and we do have a lot of customers that find old phones that they had and they want to move their pictures or their phone book or other multimedia from that old phone to a new one, you'll need a machine like this to do so. Now, a lot of cell phone carriers might have a Silly Bright machine at their corporate stores. The only problem is they don't generally support all of the older models, may not have the necessary cables, or they may not uh, support cross-carrier transfer. So if you go to a Verizon store, they may not have the adapter or the right software for a T-Mobile phone, for example. So we do have a lot of people who come in and they want to recover data. They want to recover um, phone book information, multimedia, and so forth, text messages sometimes on occasion if it's supported by the uh, particular software that you're using. So this comes in really handy, and it comes in this nice big zippered case that has a bunch of cables on the inside, which you'll see coming up here shortly. And each one of these cables basically uh, is designed for a specific type of data port. So as you know, most newer phones will use a micro USB data port, but a lot of the older phones have their own port, and there are literally about 50 or 60 different types of ports that phones can have. So if you're working with something older like that, you'll want to have a machine that supports them and also the correct data cable for it. Now these used to be a huge investment, but they have dropped in price dramatically because as of October 10th, the Cellebrite company will not be supporting updates, which doesn't really matter because you won't be using this on newer phones anyway. So as long as it's updated between now and then, the license is valid, you can continue to use it for uh, a lot of, most of the older phones that were ever made. What I'm gonna do is transfer data from a Motorola V3 over to a BlackBerry Curve 2. And just to demonstrate the process, if you take a look here inside of the phone book, you'll see shortly that there are no entries at this time. I just went ahead and wiped the phone so there's nothing stored inside of it right now. And I'm going to take uh, three phone book entries that I entered onto this V3 purposely just for demonstration purposes. And we'll actually copy those onto the Curve 2. It does not actually delete them. And you can see here you also have the option of backing up to a target of a USB or even a micro SD card. But what we're going to do here is use the cable for each phone and transfer the data. And again, I should say copy because you're not going to delete anything from the source phone. But you will in many cases overwrite data for into the uh, new phone. So make sure that you back that up as well. What we'll do is we'll go into the machine here and we'll select phone to phone transfer. And you can scroll down through a different through a number of different manufacturers. We'll find uh, Motorola, CDMA, GSM, IDEN. We're gonna look for the CDMA version of the Motorola Razr V3M, which is the Verizon Razr. And we're just gonna do phone book for now. We can also do phone content if we like, but I'm just gonna make a very quick demonstration here. When we select the target vendor, we're looking for BlackBerry CDMA, and this is gonna be the Curve 2. So you'll scroll, scroll down until you find the selection on the menu for the phone that you're gonna be transferring to. And uh, you can see it also gives you the option to back up SMS. In this case, we'll just do the phone book. And when we click next, it'll prompt us to connect the correct cable for the Motorola V3. It is cable number 80, which coincidentally is actually a V3 cable. So if you have a data cable with the USB connection, you can use your existing cable. But again, for most phones, you won't have that option. Most older phones, that is. And on the BlackBerry Curve 2, this is actually a micro USB cable otherwise known as a V8, V9. So again, you can use the USB cable if you have happen to have it, but if you have something off the wall like a Sony or Alcatel or anything else like that, you will have to have the appropriate cable. And there's the uncaught exception that we're so fond of seeing on Blackberries. So when we after we connect the source and the target, we will hit the start button and you'll see that it's actually recovering or retrieving the phone book entries from the Motorola V3. It will attempt to retrieve all 1,000, even though we don't have 1,000 entries stored on the phone. So it's very thorough, but it does take a few seconds here for everything to get backed up. And once it creates that image file, it will prompt us to go ahead and continue the transfer process onto the new handset, or to the target handset, if you will. And what we'll do here is make sure that everything is connected properly. In some cases, it will also require additional steps in order to put the phone into a state where it can transfer data 
on this particular one that's not necessary but it's nice they have a little tutorial here that kind of walks you through the steps on the screen as you're doing the transfer and it will also warn you that it's going to overwrite the um, Actually, on this one, it looks like it's not going to overwrite the content. But again, just to be safe, make sure you back up your old stuff first. And you can see that didn't take very long because we had a very small number of entries. So it has already moved the data onto the target handset. And if we go into the address book here, we'll be able to confirm that we do have the same address book that we had stored on the Motorola V3. And that pretty much is the entire process. It will take longer if you're transferring multimedia files, obviously. But... Um, that's pretty much all you have to do and if you go through here you'll notice again that you have uh, several different options and you can actually back your data up to a PC USB flash drive SD card and then you can create an image file store them on those and then perform a restore process which means if you have the file stored on a USB you just plug it in as the source and hit restore and it will move all that information over to whatever phone you have or will be using in the future and as you can see here, there are some different content types. It allows you to select pictures, videos, ringtones, and so forth if you want to back up all that good stuff. If you're just doing a one-time transfer and you need someone to get your information for you and don't need to invest in a machine, you can contact me. Just uh, visit GoCellPhoneRepair.com and let me know what kind of phone you're working with, what model, and so forth. Otherwise, I'm going to look for the best supplier or best price that we can find competitively speaking on this machine and I will post those on the website. Again, visit GoCellPhoneRepair.com. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Post your questions in the comment section below or visit GoCellPhoneRepair.com forward slash forum. Thanks for watching.